There isn't a hard and fast answer to that question. It's very individualized to the patient. It's individualized based upon their disease state, based upon their disease burden and pace of disease, based upon what we think they're going to tolerate in the comorbidities. So the specific question of docetaxel and abiraterone comes up because those two drugs are both approved in the frontline setting for hormone-sensitive metastatic disease. Data from the British group, Dr. James and colleagues who did the Stampede study, uh, suggests that in the frontline setting, there's very little difference between docetaxel and abiraterone in terms of overall survival, so quite similar. Maybe there's some slight differences in progression-free survival, but this was secondary analysis from the Stampede study and underpowered, so it's truly not a definitive answer. Having said that, docetaxel is certainly more toxic in the short term. Abiraterone is certainly milder, and so I think most patients are favoring that. Um, but, you know, the question remains, are there subsets of patients? Can we define those patients who are going to do better on chemo than on abiraterone? And at the moment, that's really an open question. We don't know who they are. There's a variety of hypotheses floating around, but it remains to be seen.